chickens were just squawking furiously and a hawk swapped, swooped down right in this area and I can't find all the chickens. Got my baby gun. They were all over here. The hawk came down right here, swooped down over in this area, very low to the ground. The chickens were going crazy. I can't find Roxy. Oh my gosh, I can't find Roxy. Oh my gosh. I saw it fly away. It didn't have anything in its, in its talons. I'm over my neighbor's property now. Oh my gosh. Roxy? Maybe she made it back into the yard. I tried to coax them back. Oh, good Lord. All the Easter eggers are accounted for. Well, well, let's say one, two, three. One, two, three. I don't think the hawk would have gotten into here. Where's the last one? Four. Okay. Sorry, I'm just walking so fast. All right. There is, um... Romeo and Coco. There's one of the, uh, you know, other Easter egg mixes. I can't find anybody else. Oh my gosh. Wait a second, that's Miss Pris over there. I'm gonna go see if she's got her baby chickens with her. Oh, thank goodness <laughs> Roxy is in here. Whew. She's laying an egg. Okay, that's Romeo, Roxy, and Coco. All accounted for Miss Pris is accounted for one of the five um, of Miss Pris' prior brood. I mean, I literally just got up. I haven't even had my coffee yet. Okay, hey, Romeo's okay. I know Miss Pris is over here. I don't see Torch. Papa. Papa, leave it. I don't know. I, I hear baby chicks over here. I... I think Miss Pris was just over here. All right, I hear some scratching around in the bushes there. Let's see how many baby chicks she's got with her. There's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, they're all fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven? I keep counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven, okay. They're all okay, so I'm just gonna see if I can coax these other ones. You know what, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave them in here. Uh, four more chickens, I'm hoping there's four more chickens in there somewhere. Oh my gosh. I think the safest place for them is right in these bushes right now. All right, Papa, I'm gonna leave you out here. You're just gonna watch over. We were inside the tiny house. I was having my coffee, it's cool inside, so. And I didn't hear it. I had been hearing the hawk in my yard for the last couple of days, and I've been getting the BB gun out, and I've been, um, I've been shooting it, not shooting at it, but just shooting near it and scaring it away. This thing swooped down low. So, it went off in the direction of my neighbor's property, and I'm trying to, scare it in that direction because I don't want to scare it back to uh, my other neighbors who I gave the four chickens to. So I don't know where it's at. It was silent. It was hunting. It wasn't doing the mating call. I had no idea it was out here. I mean, I know these hawks are everywhere, but whew, that was scary. All right, I'm just going to, I'm going to sit outside. I'm just going to watch and see if these chickens come out. And I think if I'm out here, the hawk won't the walk, hawk won't come near, right? Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see what we can see back here. There's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All five of them. Okay. I don't even know if you can see them. There's one there. And there's four more over there. And they're all okay. Hey, everybody in here? Coffee? Yeah, sitting outside. That was some drama. It's a part of 
raising chickens if you're going to free range them. This is why I've constantly second guessed myself, but the chickens got away. Um, I came out just at the tail end when the hawk was swooping down and the chickens were running away from it into the brush. So they're pretty fast. And Miss Pris, I'm convinced, she was just over on the other side um, with her baby chickens because it was a big hawk. It's not the same one that I, or the same two that I had been seeing. The two that I'd seen before were kind of like a, a brownish cinnamon color. This one was a silvery color. And um, it's been flying around my trees for days. So um, I think I successfully scared the other two brown ones away. But this one um, is being relentless. And um, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there are so many benefits to free ranging your chickens. Um, they get free grit, they get free food, um, cuts down on feed cost, and it entertains them. But then there's the hawk situation, so I need to sort this out. The good thing is, is the, those chickens move fast. They got away, and uh, the hawk didn't get any of them, but I know that that hawk was going after those chickens. Came down real low, and the chickens were just like, oh, they were making sounds I had never heard them make before, um, and Romeo too, and, and he just kind of ushered them all into the brush, so, Whew. heart's going a mile a minute. Anyhow, so uh, there is some good news here. I want to show you some stuff. Put up another shelf. Please excuse the messiness because everything has been pulled out and rearranged again. Um, that's just Papa's bin with his food in it. Got another shelf up. I think I'm going to put one, two, three more, and I kind of like this. I'm going to move this area um, pop his stuff over to the other side, and I may turn this into another little desk kind of area. It's not a very big one. Um, I could even attach another, um, what do you call it, uh, shelf thing. <laughs> I could attach another piece of shelf, um, and I've got some, uh, Donna B gave me some beautiful hinges, and I could put it so that it just goes down, but then you can prop it up um, if you want to and uh, make a little sitting area, a little desk. Um, so I think I'm going to work on that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get more shelves up here. And um, <laughs> these shelves are just wonderful. Okay, this area here is a total mess. You already know I got those two shelves up. I was in town driving my neighbor around to do her errands yesterday and she spotted this on the side of the road. I didn't even see it. She said, oh, look at that. And uh, so I did a U-turn. I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks like it's in pretty good shape. So we went, uh, she went up to the house and asked if it's uh, free. And yes, it is. It was free. So we tried to get it up. It's very, very heavy. This thing right here is, I don't know what's made out of, but it's very, very heavy. And so the guy came around and um, he just lifted it up himself. He just lifted it up and put it in the back of my truck. And um, it's, it's in very good condition. And it came from a house that um, looked like it was well cared for, well manicured lawn. Um, so right now I have the propane tank here. Um, I've just got this through here. I'm going to put a little hole in the side there so I can run the tubes out through here. And then on this side, um, <laughs> I've just got that lid right there because I don't have anything to attach to the bottom of it. The water just goes down into the bucket. Um, I need to repair this little, um, hinge thing down here because it's come loose of the, uh, screws. But I've got... Uh, two very well functioning drawers and there is a thing a board that goes underneath but I'm just going to keep it open because I can slide things underneath of it and so I move this here I move this table over here and I put those there the, there's the big bin so I've got plenty of room on this table I'm gonna eventually get take that outside and um, put a trash can there uh, for right now I just put these up here I'm gonna put something else up here um, but I'm just thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled. This is a better sink. It doesn't have one of those thingies in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a stopper for one. Um, probably just one of those things, the little rubber mats you put down in there. And I'm just going to get a one of those little screen thingies and set it down in there to capture any, you know, yucky stuff. But it works great. It, I can put both of those back in the back. 
and um, it's it's just wonderful. I mean, it even has holes in the bottom if I wanted to install plumbing. And yeah, it's got the little holes here that you can, um, you know, if I ever want to install plumbing in a, in a faucet, I can do that. But it looks great. There's just a little bit of, I think, like stain dropped right here. Um, I'm going to see if I can get that off. But I'm thrilled. And it was free. It was free. So the other sink setup is outside. This is going to work so much better. This sink is deeper. <sighs> I'm thrilled. And the air conditioner has arrived. And I've got it installed. I have been using it. I've tested it out. And um, it does cool this place down. It hasn't gotten really super hot. But when I came in the other day, it was like mm, 90 degrees in here. I turned this on. It's currently, because I don't have the generator, uh, I've been testing it on my on the little extension cord my neighbor put through for me. And um, it's it works great. It works absolutely great. So I don't really even need to use the air conditioner right now, but it's got um, a fan that works very well but uses very little electricity. So I'm finding that the, just the fan alone is enough. The little, the little two fan thing um, that was in there, I have blessed somebody else. Since I was blessed with it, I gave it to my next door neighbor because her uh, central air conditioner doesn't really work all that well, but if she puts it fans, it circulates. So she now has the dual fan, and she feels very blessed and thankful to have it. It's got a remote control, and so that's all working great for her. And, uh, yeah, so this is going to keep me cool in the summertime. I'm very thrilled about that. We've come out of hiding. One, two, three, four, and then there's another one over here. So one... Two, three, four, five, and they are all fine. Phew! My pumpkins are still growing. Oh, and look at those green pepper plants. I still can't believe they're they're alive. Yeah, I have put diatomaceous earth all over there in the in the garden bed because that has become an ant hill. The whole thing, just a big, huge ant hill. <laughs> so I'm going to go disturb it again today. See how many are still there. I'm sure there's many, and then I'm just going to. Pour some apple cider vinegar all over the top of it. Probably will ruin and the soil make it too acidic, but I'd rather that be than have a bunch of ants. So for the rest of the day today, I'm going to gather some more wood. Um, I'm going to look for some tree limbs that would be good for trim inside the tiny house and the shelves. And I got another idea for the trim of the seams of the paneling. Um, you might be able to guess what that is. And uh, who knows what else <laughs> this day's going to bring. I'm going to be outside all day. Hopefully this hawk won't come back and freak me out again. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.